Hey guys, it's Nixter. Are you ready? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Turn on the notification by hitting that bell. And give me your thumbs up. And if you guys have anything to say, questions, comments, prayer requests, it don't matter. Please go ahead and leave your comments below. I'll be more than happy to read from it and get back with you as quick as I can. So are you guys ready for the next video? Alright, so... Um, first of all... I want to say happy Father's Day to you guys, um, to all the dads, or expecting dads. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for being a very good dad to your children and stuff, which was pretty amazing. And so um, I would love to be a dad one day. I could be a dad one day and stuff. And so I'm a very, I'm a very good person and stuff. So, um, like I said, happy Father's Day and um, enjoy your day today. So, um, so I'm bringing the, bring, um, the point for today's video. It's about fathers to be a father. All right. So now to be a father is very a good thing. It is a very good thing and stuff. So now before we get to, let's just join me in prayer. Let's go to our Lord. So father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for for understanding like how to be a father and for those who are who are fathers just guide their children i pray that you are a true father to us father and we love you from the bottom of our hearts and i and i, I just want to say thank you so much for being a very good dad to me and thank you so much for being a very good dad to all of us and uh, we really appreciate that lord and we thank you for that and so father i love you forever and always and i pray that you're going to continue to be a very good father to me and everybody in this world. So I love you and I thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Amen. Okay. So, like I said, I was going to talk about to be a dad. Like how to be a dad. So, it is very important to be a very good father. To be the best dad you could be and stuff. So, you got to realize that your children is number one. Your children is your world to you and stuff. So to be a dad, you got to you gotta spend quality time with your children. Sons, daughters, your sons and daughters. So your boys and girls, you know, you got to be there for your children, for you, for, for guys to be fathers. You got to be there for your children. You got to think outside of the box to be a father to be the best dad that you're gonna be which you are and that's why you got to keep being the best father that you're gonna be in life and stuff so um i wish i could spend quality time with my dad but he's in puerto rico and but i i i called him and say happy father's day because and it means the world to him when i say happy father's day to him and stuff so and i wish i would have got something to give it to my dad for a Father's Day gift, and I, I wish I could get some, I could give something to my stepdad for Father's Day as a Father's Day gift, but I am broke, and I gotta tell you, but at least I say Happy Father's Day to people, to my stepdad, my real dad. It means the world. It they're really thankful for that and stuff, and I wish I could give them something, but I, I'm a giver. Don't get me wrong. I'm a giver. I love to give people things and stuff. And, and you know, giving is very important. When you have a gift to give to your dad, then that would be great. Rather if it's a, a Father's Day card or Father's, Father's Day, whichever gift you're going to give something to, to, to fathers, to, to, the, to the best dad, you're going to be thankful for that and, and stuff. So, um... And I got to tell you, when um, when you buy a gift to your dads, it has to be like men, like men stuff, like a barbecue, barbecue grill with the barbecue stuff on it, like, like to, to do cookouts and stuff. Um, also colognes like you ask them what's your favorite colognes Let's see, i'm gonna see i can get you one just ask some questions whichever gift they want for father's day you gotta make sure it's the right gift not the gift that they don't 
want and they're not grateful for. But um, that you got to buy a gift that they're going to enjoy, that they're going to be thankful and stuff. To you dads, you got to be grateful on what you're getting, okay, from your sons and daughters. So, yeah, you know, the best thing is you got to be thankful. You got to be grateful for what you get and stuff without getting upset. So, and I know some of you gone through people are upset that they don't, oh, I don't want this gift and stuff. I was the same way, but you know what? I am so grateful that I live a roof over my head, food on a table and stuff. I am so grateful. And that's why fathers, you have to be grateful for what you have. You're grateful that you have a son or daughter. You have roof over your head, food on a table. Just be grateful that you are the best dad that you are. Think about it. You're a very good dad. Just be keep being the best dad that you are to your children your sons, your daughters, that is very important. You got to think outside of the box to be a dad. And, you know, and also give praise to the number one dad, and that's God. God is father. He is the father to all of us. He is the father to this earth. And God is watching all over us. And you, you got to realize God is with us. And stuff that, and God is our Father. He's the spiritual Father to us. And be grateful that you have your dads by your side. You have a father up in heaven. You got a, a real dad. You got a stepdad. And and if you're get if you're married, you um you have your father in laws, father in law. You see what I'm saying? That because. It comes together. You're going to have dads by your side. You're going to have dads um, give you the love you deserve and stuff. So um, now for you sons and daughters, you got to respect your dads. You got to respect that your father is there for you 24-7. And no matter what the circumstance is, think about what your dads have done done to you for you sons and daughters and stuff and respect your fathers respect your dads because your dad is always going to be there for you and no matter what's going on you got to respect respect what they're doing to you and what you do to them so and that's why you got to respect each other and stuff to be dads. so um now i want to talk about the dads that are hurting your children and being so mean to your children, your sons and daughters, I want to tell you, you got to stop being the, the worst dad that you are. You got to turn it around. You got to turn it around to something good, something you got to change your behavior and control your anger. And so, and that's why for you dads, you got to be the best dad that you are. You cannot be controlling your children you cannot um bullying your children you cannot call people call them names and stuff you cannot do that that is why to be a dad you got to you got to respect your children you got to be the best dad that you you're gonna be and 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 know that you have your children that's gonna call your name dad daddy and stuff so that's why your children is very important. You got to feed your children. You got to nurture your children to adulthood and stuff. So that's why it's family. When you are a family member, you got to respect your children. You got to respect on what your what your children's going to do and stuff. You got to just realize your children will be there for you 24/7. No matter what and no matter where you're at, no matter what the circumstances and no matter what's going on, you got to be there for your children. And whether you're further away from your children, just call them. Just one phone call away, that's why your children will, will be there for you no matter what. 
and it doesn't matter what it is because you're always going to be there for your children to be the best that you that you are um and likewise god is the number one god and to be the best dad and if you're not sure on how to be a dad you gotta um watch the youtube videos and watch me, because I'm giving my advice to you to be the best that you are. And that's part of the environment. That's part of being a family and sticking around, stick together as a family and stuff. So, uh, love you guys. God bless you. Happy Father's Day to you guys. And I want to say thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys. And you guys are amazing. And just remember... For you dads, be the best dad that you are. Be a very good dad. Be a true example to your children. And for you sons and daughters, you got to respect your dad. You got to come together to be family, to be the best family that you are and stuff. So, all right. Love you guys. God bless you. And I will see you in the next video. And peace.